Got my box in from Speedway. Got my new fuel filter in it, new fuel lines, all the nice little number 6AN fittings. Oh my gosh, and this tool here, this cool tools, this is the thing. I've never used it yet, but when I saw the video, I had to have one. This thing is to help you put the fittings together. I'll take some videos of it. You can go on and look up Cool, C-O-U-L Tools, and they have a video on it. They, they got a whole bunch of neat stuff for putting lines together. Uh, I think this kit cost me about $75, and it does 6, 8, and 10. I don't use anything smaller than that, so no reason to have it. I'm going to use up to six. You can't buy them individually. You have to buy them in three-piece sets. But it's still, boy, it's going to be worth it. Fuel filter and all the fittings. Well, what you're looking at is my second one. I, uh, I made a couple of mistakes on the first one. I was pushing too hard, not twisting enough. That's critical. It says in the instructions to uh, twist it in. Don't try to push it in. So I uh, really delaminated it pretty bad. If you notice the black tape that I have on there, that's to mark it because when you're going in with it, you have no frame of reference to how far it's going in. So if you, if you look at that, like, like that, if you move the, if you're back a half inch with the tape when you start, or three quarters, or just some frame of reference, you want to end up with it so you can see that you're actually making movement. Um, so that's very critical. I found it anyway, and I'm totally amateur. I've poked my finger so many times trying to make these things work. Uh, the other key to this is to trim your cut, all the little wires, nothing, something real sharp, like a small scissors. Um, cut the stainless wires before you remove the tape because this stuff wants to delaminate in a hurry. I don't know why, but it does. So you need to be ready. The minute you move that, get that tape off, um, you need to start getting it in the funnel and twisting it. If you have a real long one like this piece here, is the remainder of my 10 footer. Um, I laid it on a long table so you can rotate it. You're gonna have to turn it many, many times with, with inward pressure, but don't try to overdo it. So that's what I've learned. That's a sweet tool. I think, um, I think the more I do it, the better I'll get. I got about six of them to do on this car. And then when I get to my dragster, I got a few to do on that. And uh, now that I have the tools, I won't be so hesitant about going with the uh, AN6 fittings. They're really nice. One more suggestion I got is um, to do a couple of test runs. In other words, if you see this piece here, it's really messed up on the end. Well, that's the first one I tried and it delaminated bad on me. I wasn't doing it right. So I have three lines to make up. So I've cut that one a little long, and then I have this real long one that I've put an end on. You can see that there. And um, I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm going to put another end to kind of perfect my process and, and me doing it, not the, not the tools. The tool works great. There's the uh, cover for the instructions, and that's a sheet they send you. Uh, there's the instructions on the back. But uh, this thing works really nice if you use it right. And then when I get done with those three, then I can cut them to length and, um, and put the other ends on. I'll have a little bit of uh, procedure under my belt. Um, and so I, that's just a suggestion. The uh, last thing you want to do is cut it to length, get one to go on and the next one because you haven't got no experience to, to end up like that and you can't use it like that. You can't push that stuff back down. So when you get done trimming it, with the tape on it after you cut it, um, mark it back here someplace. And um, so you have a point of reference, like I said in the other video, and uh, then take the tape off and be ready to put it right in. But trim those little hairs off before you take the tape off. It won't look like that, it, it'll look a lot better. 
but I used abrasive cut off saw. I used a I used a um, hand grinder with a, a razor cut blade on it, you know, the thin grinder blades, and uh, they both work. It was my own process that I was screwing up. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs>